What is up, world? Welcome to What We Watched. I am Matt. Thank you so much for joining us. And today, we are talking about the movie event of the year. That is Avengers Endgame. Now, if you have not seen the movie yet, do not worry. This is a completely spoiler-free review. We will not be talking about anything that is revealed in the movie. We are just going to be going over my general thoughts and what I thought of the movie. So if you haven't seen the movie yet then watch this with no worries about anything being spoiled. We got you covered. So let's jump right into it. So Avengers Endgame comes right on the heels of Avengers Infinity War, which we got to see last year, and we are seeing the ramifications and the repercussions of what happened ever since the snap and what happened with Thanos and all of the fallout that happens because of that. Now, this is basically part two of that story. Um, I think originally when they were planning on this, they were actually just planning on making it uh, basically Infinity War Part 1 and Infinity War Part 2, and so that feels like that in this movie. You cannot um, see this movie and really get it without watching Infinity War. And for that sake, this isn't really a spoiler, but um, this movie is handcrafted for those who love the MCU. Uh, I went with my wife, Ashley, and she uh, has seen the majority of the MCU movies, but uh, there's a few that she's missed. And so I found myself a lot of times turning and saying, hey, this is that character. This is why that is important. Um, because this movie is is the love letter of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This movie uh, definitely wants you to know your stuff and what has happened in previous movies so you are on board and ready for what is about to happen in this film. If I could use one word to describe this movie, it would be earned. Everything in this movie is earned from the sad parts that are pulling on your heartstrings that are earned because you truly care about what's about to happen to these characters. The funny parts are earned because you know uh, that's exactly how that character would react in that certain situation. And the fun adventure and uh, the excitement is earned. It doesn't feel like, even with so many characters being shoved into this movie, everything feels like it was all intentionally leading up to this point. So this is definitely a movie that is made for lovers of the MCU, people who truly want uh, to see this big story kind of come to this climax and this end. And so this is not a movie to start your friends off if they've kind of seen a movie here and there. This is a movie for those who have spent the past decade loving these movies and they pulled it off perfectly it was so good from start to finish it's a little bit slower at the beginning but they kind of need um to build up what's going to happen it's almost like a few movies that are kind of sandwiched into one um you almost feel like that uh there's like a kind of like a part one part two but since this is already basically a part two um i'm glad that they kind of put it all together and didn't leave you hanging and tried to split it up into three or maybe even four parts so it's really rewarding to kind of see the setup and the execution of this entire story and not just the setup and then leave you hanging and say, okay, see you in a year. So they did a really good job with that. Um, overall, this is a great movie. You need to go and check it out. Uh, one thing, it's not really a spoiler, uh, but there is no end credit scene in this movie. And it's interesting because that's sort of the uh, big thing that Marvel is known for is the end credit scene. The fact that at the end of the movie, you kind of know, uh, oh man, there's a tease for this bad guy or a tease for the next movie. Um, but there's no end credit scene in this movie. But honestly, I think that's incredibly fitting because normally when there's an end credit scene, you leave the theater and you're talking about the movie, but you're also talking about, okay, well, what's next? Because you know it's one piece of this giant puzzle. And what I think they really wanted, what the creators of this movie really wanted you to do is not to be looking forward at, okay, well, what's going to happen now and what's the fallout of all of these things that happen? But they really want you to take some time and look back at what you got to be a part of. And as someone who loves movies as much as I do, it's really been great to see the past 10 years. And I remember sitting in a dorm room with my friends after Iron Man had come out and someone saying, yeah, they're going to make a Thor movie and they're going to make um, you know, some Captain America movies and eventually there's going to be this Avengers movie where they're all together. And I remember saying, that's not going to happen. Like I thought it was just going to all fall apart or it was all going to be cheesy or lame. And so to see it a decade later being one of the 
the biggest movies of all time. I would not be surprised one bit if this passes Avatar as the highest grossing film of all time. Um, but it was just incredible to be a part of that as a movie fan. And so not having an end credit scene, I think, is actually one of the most fitting things that this movie can do. Because so, so much of this movie, yes, we can talk about and we'll have a spoiler thing. And I'm sure we'll do a breakdown of what we think is next for the MCU. But the important part of this movie is looking back at what was accomplished and just what a great treat it has been to be a part of seeing the MCU unfold. And that gives me confidence with them moving forward. But uh, today is not a day for looking forward at what's going to happen next. But let's look back at the last 10, 11 years, the past 20 plus movies and just say thanks Marvel, thanks Disney for doing an amazing job. And Avengers Endgame caps that Trilli- that that big series, that big saga off just perfectly. So you should definitely go check it out. I would highly recommend it. Well, those are my general thoughts on Avengers Endgame. What did you think? Uh, have you seen it yet? What did you think? Remember, this is a spoiler-free zone, uh, so please don't put any spoilers in the comments. Uh, we will have a spoiler-filled movie posted later on, and so we will be able to talk about theories and what you thought of specific things. But overall, what did you think? If not, are you planning on seeing the movie? Have you already gotten your ticket? Are you waiting until the crowds die down? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to these videos. It really does help us out when you guys do that. Uh, But for now, I am Matt, and thanks for watching.